Take a look at this. Decades ago, a celebrated butterfly in California used to thrive in our area. But now you can only spot a few of them in areas where there used to be thousands. So what's going on? Well, KPIX 5's Julia Goodrich investigates our missing monarchs. We're talking about the western monarch butterfly. During the winter, the California coast is their host. But now many of our monarchs have gone missing. Recently in Pacific Grove, visitors flocked to a sanctuary to witness a natural wonder. The world famous monarch butterfly stops here to spend the winter. But this year. There was hardly any monarchs to be seen. There's a couple of flying around. Yeah. Oh, extremely sad. About 40 years ago, you would have seen this at the nearby Santa Cruz Sanctuary. Thousands of California monarchs looking like leaves and hibernating in clusters on trees. Today. You're looking at the tree back in back of us, and there's four butterflies where before this whole area was butterflies. Monarchs, as far as we can tell, based on our very limited geographic coverage, are in big trouble right now. In the 1980s, an estimated 4.5 million western monarchs overwintered along the California coast. At last count, their population hit a record low, just 28,429 butterflies. That's down 86% from the previous year. A very significant drop. It wasn't a good year. Nick Stong and Juan Govea are with the Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History. They explain monarchs are not just beautiful, they're crazy. Critical. They pollinate the plants we eat and serve as food for other animals. They're an essential part of our ecosystem. If monarchs are facing these challenges, a lot of other insects probably are too. That's the buzz. Two new studies provide good evidence bugs around the world have gone missing in a big way. Some call it insect Armageddon. The data supports what many suspect. And they all point the same direction. Something big is happening. Art Shapiro is a distinguished professor of evolution and ecology at UC Davis. Since 1972, Shapiro has monitored butterfly populations, 150 different species at 10 different sites across Central California. As for the monarch, last year, there weren't any anywhere. What's behind the bug decline? We do not no. The hard evidence is scant, but some factors may play a role. Pesticides, agricultural practice, population growth, urban sprawl, loss of habitat, climate change. The monarch is a canary in the coal mine. Chris Grinter is with the California Academy of Sciences. He showed us a special collection. We have a few extinct species in their collection here, including the Xerxes blue butterfly. The Xerxes blue lived in San Francisco. Grintner says urban development drove them to extinction. He hopes the monarch never ends up in the same drawer. Hopefully, a monarch won't go the way of some of the other extinct species. Shapiro says butterflies are survivors. They've been around for 35 million years. The question is whether they will manage to survive given the very rapid change we're seeing now and the extent to which we've modified the landscape. U.S. Fish and Wildlife is considering whether the monarch needs federal protection. A decision is expected in June. Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5. It's hard to believe when you yeah. see the before and after yep. right. video, and, I, and I've been there uh, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. and what you're seeing is real. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's a fraction of the population that used to be there. It's heartbreaking because they're so essential for the, for the environment mm -hmm. and the climate there, but they're also so beautiful. Yeah, and it's so ironic that about. weather uses the terminology, the butterfly effect, mm -hmm. that a flap of a butterfly's wings on the other side of the earth yeah. causes weather downstream and huge changes. So you think a one small change in our environment could mean a huge change in a certain species mm -hmm. of whatever, and in this case, uh, butterflies. Mm -hmm.